Hi all you lovely kings, queens, and in-betweens. My name is Elaine, and today I'm going to be hosting a little podcast for you guys. A discussion, if you will, called Everything in Unison League is Situational. Now, I'm just doing this off the top of my head, so if it's not perfect, please don't scold your favorite panda. Now, we're just going to jump right into things. I've been doing this for a while, and by this I mean both playing Unison League and making Unison League content for YouTube try and help players get used to the game, give some advice, things like that. And as a result, I get a fair amount of questions about the game and this is only natural and completely fine with me because I want to be helpful and I like helping you guys. And I get a lot of questions in the same vein. Questions like, what's the best ability set for the archer? What's the best monster? Which monster should I use? Which set should I take? Which one of these is better? Basically, some sort of question involving a comparison. And I get these questions probably more than any other type of question. And I have a very hard time with them. And I often give an answer I feel a lot of my viewers and a lot of the people posing the questions find very unsatisfying. And it's usually something like, well, that depends. And then my answer ensues. And I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm not trying to give an answer that might not be particularly satisfying. I'm giving this answer because it's true. Everything in Unison League is very situational. It depends on what you're doing. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish. And these questions are basically impossible to answer without a fair amount of context. And I'm going to take a little time to talk about this today and basically why I have a hard time with these questions at length. I'm going to start by giving a few examples. Let's say you're just minding your own business and you're running the Crystal of the Sacred Altar quests or the Crystal Assault quests as they're sometimes known. In these quests, they're a big old crystal and you are in fact assaulting that crystal. Wait, wait, Elaine, that doesn't sound right. Wait, Mama taught you better than that. I mean, you are beating up this crystal that just sits there, right? Either with a group of friends or with some NPCs. Now in this situation, you are not taking any damage because the crystal isn't attacking you. You are attacking the crystal. It doesn't fight back. So in this situation, something like guard, which for those of you who might not know, targets itself and reduces damage taken by 90% for five seconds is not helpful. It's a terrible move in this situation because you are not taking any damage. Fair enough, right? Other considerations for this particular situation. There's some gear with opening skills. One of them is ward, just as an example. Essentially, it casts ward on your character for the first however long, depending on the skill level of the gear, and then it wears off, right? That's a thing. In this situation, not so helpful. You're not being attacked. Completely useless in this situation. Now, let's say, instead, you're taking part in the Coliseum, which are short little battles to the death, okay? An opening skill on your gear, like ward or something that casts resurrection on your character, very, very helpful because the skill level, once you raise it all the way, will probably extend toward the end of that. It's usually, I think, a minute and a half long period or minute long period because most battles don't actually last that long in the Coliseum. Very helpful, could keep you from dying and awarding the other team points and this would in turn help you and your team win. Now, maybe you guys don't don't believe me yet. Maybe you guys still have a few doubts. You're like, that's only like two situations, Elaine. That's that's not enough to convince me that everything in Unison League is situational because that's a big claim to make. I understand. I'm saying all things are situational. Not just some of them. All things in Unison League are situational, guys. And I'm going to continue to prove it to you. Now, there have been a bunch of quests over the years that have come out in which you can only use monsters of a specific color or you couldn't use monsters at all. So let's take the situation in which you can only use monsters of a certain color or element. Any monsters that aren't that color or element are useless because you can't use them. Let's say you're in a quest and you're not allowed to use monsters at all. Well, it'll be good to have them equipped in both situations for just stat stick purposes if you have nothing you could actually use. In the situation in which you can't use monsters at all, let's take a basic biznatch ability I'm sure you've all seen all over the place, known as cheer, which increases the unison gain of all allies excluding yourself by five. Not so helpful, right? No reason to do this because you can't use a monster, so none of your friends can use them either. You could cheer all you like, but there's no point. If you can't use a monster, it doesn't matter if anyone fills their unison gauge. You can't do anything with that. Another example where cheer is useless. 
since it increases the units engage of all allies, excluding yourself, if you're running a solo quest, you have no NPCs or anybody with you, cheer is useless. It only affects other people, so there's no point in having it. Still don't believe me? I'll give another example. There are a lot of quests in this game. In fact, pretty much every quest in this game. And there are a few exceptions. I'm not going to say this is the case 100% of the time. But in most quests, the monsters you are facing feature a specific element. So for example, let's say the quest you're in features a lot of water monsters. The gear type that has an elemental advantage over water is wind. The one that is at a disadvantage is fire. So what this means is... If you're wearing a lot of fire gear and you're facing water monsters, you're at a disadvantage, which means if it's defensive gear, it's easier for you to take damage. And if you are using weapon gear, it's less likely that you'll do good damage. Basically, your damage output is reduced in this situation. The opposite is true of your wind gear in situations where you're facing off against all or predominantly water type monsters or enemies. These have an elemental advantage, so your weapons gear would increase damage output potential, and your defensive gear would provide more defense against these types of monsters, whereas gear of other elemental types, so anything that is not fire or wind, would basically have no effect. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just, I guess, average in this situation, for lack of a better phrase. I think you understand what I'm getting at. And these are just a few examples. Let's look at monsters and the monsters you bring with you for a minute. While there are some monsters that are just good in a general sense because they're high power, they've got a nice ability or skill attached to them. They might be better in certain situations than others. Let's say you were facing off against a monster in a quest that constantly saps your cost. In this situation, a cost recovery monster and cost recovery abilities would be amazing since you're constantly losing these things to this monster. Let's say you're facing a monster that constantly reduces your units engage. In this case, abilities that cast haste or its equivalent, either as a player ability or a monster ability, are ideal. Again, these are just a few examples. I could sit here all day giving examples of how certain things are better in certain situations and some things are worse in certain situations. I'm not going to do that because I would like to keep this video relatively short and easy to digest. But I think with these few examples, you can begin to understand what I'm trying to get at here. Everything, and I mean everything in Unison League, is situational. Sometimes a certain situation does not call for a certain play style, a certain play set, certain monsters, certain things. And sometimes it'll call for things that maybe aren't typically the most helpful. And whatever those things are, that becomes your good and bad. And you're saying there really isn't a good and a bad in a general sense. It's what's good and what's bad for the situation. Okay, yes, 26 cost gear is nowhere as good as 40 cost gear. But that aside, like those little details details aside, everything is situational. Take the things that will be best for the situation. Consider what type of monster you are facing, what type of opponent or opponents are facing. Are you doing this alone? Are you doing this with a group? And once you've taken those things into consideration, then consider what would be most useful. Does it make sense to take something like cheer? Does it make sense to take monsters with cost recovery abilities and prioritize those monsters? Does it make sense to bring monsters that have resurrection and ward or are you not taking any damage? Is there a point in what you're doing? Always, always consider this. Just take a moment and consider what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish. If you're newer and you're not really sure what to do, run a quest a few times. Look at the things you're facing. Even before you run into a quest, usually there's this little bracket where you could see at least some of the monsters you're facing. Usually, in fact, always that indicates which of those monsters in the quest you have to beat in order to get that little reward in the other window. But that can be a good way to get some information ahead of time so you can begin to prepare yourself. And then once you've gone into that quest or that event a few times, you can adjust your style, see what's worked, see what hasn't, and determine what is best in this situation, what's not working in this situation, and go from there. And hopefully progress through the game fairly easily in this way. A lot of you 
unison league is just taking time to recognize patterns, taking a little time to consider what sort of situation you're going to find yourself in and just constantly tweaking and adjusting to make yourself the best version of you within the context of the game as possible. Again, I can't emphasize this enough. Everything, absolutely everything in unison league is situational. I want to thank you all for listening. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Always wanted to make that joke. And I really hope you all found this very helpful. Let me know down below in the comments if it was helpful. If you still have any questions, if you still have any doubts, I'd love to clear that up for you. And if you like what you saw here today, please smash that like button until it's blue, subscribe and ring that bell. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye all you lovely kings, queens and in-betweens. Hi, Tasha Valenza, aka Poison Ivy, and you've just been watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch.